I don't know. Like, do you want to talk a little bit about that? What? Your name. <laughs> well, the thing is, it doesn't bother me. Really? I just think it's funny. So then what is your real name? People want to know. I want to know. I don't really know. Is it Melissa or Marissa? We'll never know. I don't know. Honestly, I wouldn't know. I mean, the thing is, I don't understand, like... I don't know, because... Is M Melissa and Marissa, they're very similar. So maybe they just forget which one. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, Melissa. I don't know. I felt like they're not... Is, like, one more common than the other? I don't know. I've actually yeah. known more Marissas in my life than Melissa's. Hmm. So... I don't know, but like it doesn't it doesn't bother me. I just think it's funny how people in the comments still call me Melissa, even though like Tyler has said so many times like Marissa. Uh, Marissa, Marissa, Marissa. Er. But it like generally it like it genuinely doesn't bother me though. Yeah. Because people my whole life have told me that so. True. One of your friends called you that. <laughs> I wouldn't say a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey man, if, if you know who you are and you're watching these reactions... <laughs> I, mean, I just realized people could probably interpret that in a couple different ways. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> they didn't date. Yeah, it was one of his friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say for- I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking, I'm okay, joking. Okay, wait, let's get, let's get into the yeah. video. Okay, how- but, what, what reading? You, you want me to say it so you can, you can give something some more. Yeah. You okay. Know. How about at the count? How about on the count of three, we'll say our rating. Or let's rock paper scissors. Or we, but no, but, but we've never said it at the same time before. Oh, that's true. All right. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Okay, so ready? like three, two, one, and then we'll say it. Well, one, two, three, shoot. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. One. <laughs> two. Come on. Now you gotta get in. Now you gotta get into it. You gotta okay, get okay, into right. it. Get ready. Ready. Yeah, ready. Yeah. You gotta start over. Start over. Ready. Yeah. One, two, two three, three, six, seven. Five. 6.5. Really? Yeah. 7. Why? I liked it better than the last one. This, this is a microphone, by the way. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> this time. Um, I liked it better than the last ABBA song we reacted to. Mm-hmm. But it was, I don't know, it was like, I can't tell whether or not I liked the repetitive nature because, you know, normally when something is repetitive, they'll try to vary it a little bit, and I just mm -hmm. felt like in this case, they didn't really vary it, like, they, they didn't really... They just kept it all the same. They didn't vary anything. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I didn't totally hate it. I think I was just more taken aback by the fact that they didn't change anything or add anything. Yeah. Like they didn't add another layer, you know? So I don't know. It, it was good. And I, I really liked the beginning of it. Mm -hmm. And like said, the background vocals. Yeah, I just, I think seven, I just like the artisticness, you know? Yeah, what I mean? like I, I liked the artisticness, but I just rated it a 6.5. I mean, 0.5 is difference. It's not that much. That's true. That's true. But I mean, I just, seven, I don't know why, but seven sounds just like a good number. You know what I mean? Like it sounds... Lucky number seven. <laughs> it sounds golden. You know, I don't know why. Like, I just think of the, the color gold, you know? Interesting. Is that weird? Sounds like synesthesia. Synesthesia? Oh my God. I do put colors Synes to a lot of things. Synesthesia. I cannot say it. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to spell it, but like... Seven. You might actually have that if you put colors to things. I do put colors to things. Pretty like, awesome. Seven. That's a better seven. Interesting. I never knew that. Really? Like, I, I, can, I've, I have definitely felt in colors before. Yeah, that's just so interesting. Like, mm -hmm. I'll have to tell you more about it later. Anyways. <laughs> let's about, the, like, the actual. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at the lyrics a little bit. This, this one had some interesting lyrics. Like, first off, what's interesting is... What do you think? It says no. Did it, you hear that at the beginning? But no. I didn't either. Let's listen. Let's no. Actually, I don't want to because then the videos, then the videos can get claimed. Oh. <laughs> these are the videos that don't but get claimed. I, I swear I didn't hear that. I didn't either. Is that uh, Swedish? I would assume. I'm wondering if it means one, two, three. I say that because. Let's look. You can keep talking. Like. Like what is it? What what's one two three in French? Un deux trois. I, I don't know. Et. No. Oh, I think it is zero one two three because null in German like n u l l null in German means zero mm -hmm. or yeah. So yeah, you are a hundred percent right. But I was right about the Swedish though. That was really lame. I know. <laughs> You're like. 
<laughs> but let me try again. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> um, wait, wait, hang on one more time. Okay. This time I'll actually get it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> okay. There we go. Anyway, well, okay, just this is so off topic, but I think it's interesting that in Swedish, one is spelled E T T because that's not really similar to German or English or I don't know what it is in like Dutch or Norwegian. <sighs> anyway, but the Tva, tva Actually, I thought that was pronounced more like an O. <laughs> no, that's probably wrong. Um, but it just reminds me of the number two. But it's va? Or whatever, however you say I guess that. So, I could say that. And then three, three. But trays. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. That reminds me of the Spanish. But, yeah. So it reminds me of one, two, three in various languages. Mm hmm. It's the one, two, three. I'm gonna put down your Christmas tree. That could be in our Christmas song. That's actually in somebody else's Christmas song. I, oh, quoted, I quoted a Christmas song, yeah. He stands towering over me beside my bed, losing his head. Tells me I must take him seriously, droning on the usual way. He's such a clever guy. Then I wonder, should I left laugh or cry? He's dressed in the striped pajamas that I buy. Trousers too short. Gives me of his small philosophy. Carries on the way he does. And me, I get so tired, and I wonder, should I laugh or cry? Sounds like a relationship falling apart right there. Mm -hmm. Right? Isn't this album, other songs in this album have been about war. Mm-hmm. And, like, specifically, specifically World War Two. I, I remember that wrong. No. Or, like, no, it was, like, some invasion. It was, like, some invasion. I don't know. Like, a country, yeah. The Normandy invasion? No. What even is the Normandy invasion? That's just a, that's just the name of a sports show I listen to sometimes. You mean like D Day? Well, the Nor there's the there's a Normandy. Normandy. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Be Did you know there's actually multiple beaches on D Day? Normandy oh, really? was just like the most popular one or whatever. Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard about that somewhere. Very interesting. So interesting. Anyways. High and mighty fly, his banner flies, a fool's pride in his eyes, standing there on his toes to grow in size. All I see is a big balloon halfway up to the moon. He's wrapped up in the warm and safe cocoon of an eternal... <laughs> Your mom's calling you, Tyler. Hold on, guys. Anyways... I'm gonna keep that in. Probably. In, this, in this video, we'll learn about how in this bad of a son yeah, no. Tyler is. Strange how diff dangerously indifferent I have grown. Cold as, cold as stone. No more pain where there's pain before. Far away he rambles on. I feel my throat go dry and I wonder should I laugh or cry. That sounds like death. Yeah, okay, sorry. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I was just thinking about what it said beforehand. Like, this is just me. Like, mm -hmm. this probably doesn't mean what I'm thinking it means. But whenever, you know how sometimes you just hear two words together and you just think of something else? Like... That's real. So like, he's dressed in the striped pajamas that I bought. Mm -hmm. Going back to verse two, um, that reminds me of like the boy in the striped pajamas. So I'm guessing like it's not about that, but I don't. Yeah. But I don't know if it. I don't know. It's probably about a relationship. Yeah. But I feel like you could honestly stretch it to like war. Mm -hmm. In a way, maybe. Oh. Well, that's not what you guys thought though, honestly. Wait, where were you? I mean, it's just the, it's the hook again, so. I just did the third verse. Let's see what they say on this. It's it's a it's a rather bitter yeah, song about the end of a relationship, yeah. Uh, reflecting on a failing relationship's preemptive strikes of anger and contemplation. The narrative's emotional afflicted party, both volatile and pitiless. Wait, but this um, kind of fits the theme of the rest of the album. True, yeah. So I wonder if it's like, just like the emotion that connect the songs like mm -hmm. like each song might be about something different but it's the shared emotions that that those songs convey that are the same mm. does that make sense yeah and, and it was uh it, it, it was also not originally included on the visitors it's just a bonus track oh on like a reissue so interesting do you have anything else to say about this, this lovely song marissa 
I don't think so. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, I'm gonna call her now.